Hi, I'm Martin Sharp, best-selling author of the award-winning book, Digital Transformation. And I'm here to talk to you about something that I find really important because many people seem to sort of miss this idea and kind of scrabble right at the end to actually work out what they're gonna do. And what we're talking about is actually planning what is it that you need to change. At this time of year, most organizations are going through some kind of process by which they're getting ready for sort of the run ups of the Christmas period, making sure they're closing out maybe the end of year, and maybe just getting to the point where they're working out or reflecting on what have they done over the last 12 months. And this is a great thing to do because by looking back and seeing what we've done, seeing what we've achieved, it gives us this great opportunity to be able to work on that and use it as a template of what we can do moving forwards. Because this gives us a lot of information that we can find really useful in our planning cycles for the year ahead. But sometimes it's more than just a case of replicating the same thing you've done each year. Because wouldn't you agree, if you stood still, then everybody else is overtaking you, right? And that kind of means that actually you're probably moving backwards. And that's not a good thing. It's certainly not a good thing in business. And it's not a good thing in your own life. And in fact, if you look at what happens in nature, we do find that if something isn't growing, it's dying. And this is the same thing that happens with ourselves and also the same thing that happens in businesses. So to try and combat this, you need to be thinking about actually, how am I going to be growing my organization? How can I be able to improve it? How can I be able to make those changes necessary to take it to the next level? It might be that what you're doing is you're looking at how can I get more sales? How can I improve my marketing? It may be that you're looking at things such as how can I improve my processes so I'm not wasting quite as much money or how can I make things more efficient or more cost effective for my clients and my customers. And don't forget, you've also got to think about these things from a personal point of view. Because alongside improving a business, you've got to be able to improve what you do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that your skills are in the right place and that you're taking advantage of each and every opportunity that's available. Now for me, I've actually found there's kind of eight key areas that we need to work on, on ourselves, to be able to make it so that we understand what it is that we're gonna be doing to move ourselves forward for the following year. Because if we don't really understand the reason why behind what we're doing to make a change is happening, then the probability is that you just don't stick to it. I mean, how many New Year's resolutions have you had that you've never stuck to, right? And this happens with so many people. They have these great ideas, they want to go and do something, but their reason why, the reason why behind it isn't strong enough, or it isn't really aligned with the reality of where you find yourself today. So there's around about 80 different questions that you can ask yourself to help highlight which of these eight characteristics that you need to really take care of in the next year ahead to make sure that you're positioning yourself in the right place for the right amount of growth. Because once you have this idea of what area of your life really needs to focus on, whether that's something like your own health or your wealth or your well-being, then this means that you can put the effort in the right place. You can find the right people to support you in doing that. You can find the right courses if you don't have the right information. Or you can find the right coach and mentor to make sure they're pushing you forwards so that you're going to get out of the year ahead the things that you really need. So. Once you have this information and you've captured what it is and why you need to do it, make sure you write it down. And this is one of the, probably the key tips I could ever give you because the many people think, oh, this is great, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna get fitter, I'm gonna go on that great holiday, etc." And then when they look and review themselves at the end of the year, they haven't achieved any of those things. And one of the key reasons for this is because they never wrote it down. They didn't diarize it, they didn't plan it, and therefore it just became a wish as opposed to being something that you're going to act upon. So make sure that when you actually work out which area of your life you're going to deal with, that you actually write it down and you put plans behind it to make it happen. Or don't complain when you get to the end of the year again and you haven't achieved what you really wanted to. I'm going to leave you with just two words. I'd like you to think about these carefully. This matters. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the subscribe button for more hints, tips, sound bites, and extras in order to be able to help you influence change, build consensus, and achieve a greater success in your life, in your career, and in your organization. So click that subscribe button now.